So the question is, why I bought Keychron K3 Low Profile Mechanical Keyboard? How I bought it at only 45 USDs when it's officially available at $94 on Keychron K3 website? And do I recommend this keyboard to you? To be honest, I don't really know as it is sealed yet. But let's open this keyboard together and see if it's a worth buying or just a total waste of money. But before opening the keyboard, let's talk about the features first. This is Keychron K3 Ultra Slim Mechanical Keyboard, known as the world's first low-profile, sleek wireless mechanical keyboard, which can be used with Mac and PC. It has a minimal look with 75% layout and my favorite 84 keys and its battery life is 1550mAh, which can be used up to 34 hours with lowest brightness and up to 70 hours with backlit off, as claimed by the company. This can be connected up to 3 devices at the same time via Bluetooth 5.1. It has 15 lighting effects which looks more like a gimmick to me. And it has hot swappable switches which can be changed to your liking and it can be easily charged through a USB Type-C cable which is pretty convenient nowadays. It's available at 94 US dollars on their official website which falls out of my budget. So I looked for the deals at eBay and got a new keyboard at 45 US dollars with free shipping from the seller. The keyboard is currently available at $63.99 however I will leave the seller link in the description in case anyone of you wanna buy in the similar price. This is not affiliated and I am not getting anything at all just being helpful. The keyboard box looks pretty high quality and nicely packed in the plastic. Let's remove the plastic first. Now I have removed the plastic and this is how the keyboard box looks without the plastic. Here is the quick start guide where you can find all the information on how to install it. There comes the actual keyboard. It feels like less than a kg in weight unlike the heavy conventional mechanical keyboards. The cable is type A to type C which is long enough and pretty convenient to charge the keyboard directly with Mac or PC. There we go with extra caps which can be used for the Windows users because the default keys on the keyboard are for the Mac users I believe. This is the keycap puller and switch puller looks pretty decent and can be used to change the caps or switches. The last one is detailed manual guide. Which is mostly boring and useless. That's all in the box. Let's try out the keyboard. This looks pretty decent in the plastic dust cover included. I might be using this every day to keep the dust off of the keyboard. Let's take the dust off and look at the keyboard. Holy sh! The back of the keyboard looks like a durable plastic body and two level adjustable rubber feet for the version 2 might make it more comfortable to type on. Just to keep in mind as long as I know only the version 2 has a two level adjustable rubber. This keyboard looks damn sleek and amazing and the keys are a lot more polished and smoother than I thought. To start with the look I think the 75% layout with 85 keys is an amazing sweet spot for the people who like minimalism without compromising productivity. On to the top we have USB Type-C port for charging and orange switches to the left side. One switch is used to toggle between Windows and OS and the other one is used to turn it off used via Bluetooth or cable mode. So, do I recommend this keyboard? For about all the features on this minimal mechanical keyboard at $45 or even at $80 I will definitely recommend this keyboard. It has a sleek look and smooth typing experience and it could be a game changer if you really like mechanical keyboards. However if you are like me and you like minimal stuff on your table this is definitely a beautiful option for you. I have put the seller link in the description. Currently this keyboard is at 63 US dollars but you can keep an eye if they offer any sale or discount so you can get it at 45 US dollars or maybe less who knows. Lastly I'm gonna keep using this keyboard in the future and if you guys want to see on how I feel about this keyboard on the work practically do let me know in the comment section and I will definitely make a detailed review after trying for a few weeks. And if you want to see more tech videos like this, don't forget to share some love by subscribing the channel. Peace.